The rattlesnake fern is one of the succulent, fleshy-stalked grape ferns, so-called for the bunches of sporangia on the fertile stalk. Whether this stalk looks like a snake's rattle, or a snake's tongue, or even if it's because they grow where the snakes could be, it's an evocative name for this interesting fern. At home in this shady creek bottomland, this fiddleheadless fern depends on fungus for survival, mycorrhizals, like the lady slippers that also grow in this area. It can even stay underground and be non-photosynthetic for years. Let's go in for a closer look. The triangularity, almost tripartite leaf sense, is striking, as is the stalk that carries the sporangia above. Ophioglossaceae is a very old family of ferns with some of the earliest vascular land plants along with horsetails and whisk ferns. This is a single leaf with two segments. Some terminology is required. The trophophore is the vegetative part. The stalked sporophore holds the spherical sporangia up high. The two segments are joined at the photosynthesizing trophophore, which is horizontal to the ground. Let's see how the trophophore is divided. Starting with a triangular blade, cut it once to make the broad pinny pairs. Then cut those into pinules, and those into subpinules. Then a little pinking around the edges to produce a three pinnate pinnatophid blade. The sporophore's large sporangia reveal its eusporangiate nature. No small fruit dots under the frond here. Mature sporangia open by a slit, Pac-Man-like. By June, these sporangia are mature in this area, and spores can be seen when the plant is shaken. The pole-like sporophore raises up the sporangia, where wind may better disperse the tiny spores. Ferns evolved hundreds of millions of years before flowers, yet recent genetic testing found flower DNA in these ferns from a now-extinct mistletoe. This horizontal gene transfer was the first flower-to-fern example, and a surprise for those working on fern interrelatedness. Eusporangiate ferns are primitive compared to most ferns today. The cosmopolitan adder's tongue ferns represent survivors of an old but successful branch of life. And if you watch out, you might see rattlesnake ferns in your present-day woods. <laughs>